Hi, thanks for stopping by today to another episode of Ancient Seas Metal Detecting. This is Sam Bouchard. Today we are going to check out the Nocta Macro Simplex in the small coil, the 5 by 9.5 double D. Stay tuned, let's check it out. Here we're getting an 18 as a signal. Uh, sensitivity is set pretty low. Well, I'm not digging 16 inches or 10 inches or 12 inches or even nine into desert soil. It's usually impossible. We've had a ton of rain here and this is a heavily watered area of land and it's all Bermuda. So cutting through the Bermuda is tough enough and then once you get into the desert soil, it's usually hard as a rock. So that being said, uh, you don't need to dig nine, 10 inches. Anything you're gonna find in a park like this is gonna be only a few, especially newer parks like we are out here. And there's the foil. This is primarily a test of the small coil, the 24 coil. The Nocta simplex runs pretty balanced, I must say. Here's two signals. Here and two signals here, two distinct signals, both in the 40s. So we'll have to see what comes up because we're digging everything because we're in the park. So we can assume what it is, but well, this one's going to be pretty obvious what we see here. We've got a pull tab right on the surface. This is a surface pull tab. Then our other signal sounds like it's possibly a coin, but hard to say, it could be two. Well, that's an interesting uh, signal, that one. That was a double signal on a pull tab, which is not uncommon. Yeah, the city parks, that's the, when you're digging in a city park, it's a little bit more uncomfortable because you're in people's way or people just don't find it normal. Weird guy in the park. Bouncing 32, most likely junk. We're just testing out the smaller coil on the Nocta Macro Simplex. This is the small coil. And it's better around trashy places like this where you got a lot of junk. Well, there's our, there's a signal week. Pretty solid 73, 74. Let's see if we can pinpoint it. All right, we should be right about there. Oh, this is coming in hard on the surface. Oh, well, bottle cap. There you go. Now this is interesting, it's the same cap, but obviously there's a little bit difference in uh, signal target, obviously, because of being buried in some sort of corrosion, but at least this one we didn't have to dig for. Simplex does seem to handle these signals well. Uh, you just gotta get a feel for what all the readings are and what they could be. Here's a, here's a solid 67. So we're gonna find out what a solid, solid 67 brings up. Oh, well, there's a couple of signals in there. There's a 32. We're still getting a solid 67. So I'm gonna guess penny. I will go off on penny, solid 67, mute the macro, which is a nice feature, so you don't get the cross signal problems. All right, nothing on the surface here, so let's see what, oh, there might be something here. We'll see. That's a pretty good pinpoint, though. Oh, 
Well, there is a coin. Definitely a penny, so we know that. So I guess today's goal was to see if the Nacro could pull up a coin amongst garbage. And it seems to. Another signal here right next to it. This is a 30, solid 30. If I do, I will. Is there a number on it? Yeah, it's a. Well, no, it says Caden's Hospital. Caden must have scratched it off. Don't think it's out here, but if you ever do. Sure. Is there a number on it that I would be able to contact anybody? I don't think so. It just says Caden's Animal Hospital. It shows he got his shots and everything else. So I could call that Animal Hospital and leave it with them or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, if, if you find it. Yeah, I don't come out very often. I just, you know, but I'll It'll definitely be try. Off chance. It's really tiny and it's probably. At home, because he scratches all the time. Well, if I, I mean, I'm a dog lover, so I love to, I've got many myself, so if I find one, I'll definitely turn it over. Okay. Uh, I'm doing a video, if you don't mind, do you mind being in it? Sure. All right, well, you're in the video. It's going on YouTube when I have a chance. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll look for it. If I come across it, I'll, I'll turn it over to the hospital. All right, well, thank you very much. No problem. All right. Yep. Well, that happens when uh, you're out here. It's funny, most people don't have a problem. They either are curious or they want to know what's going on or if you can find something for them. So if we can help the doggy out, good. Well, this one might be a piece of uh, garbage. I'm gonna bet this was it, which is interesting. It gave a very solid signal. Well. Still getting some signal in there. Yeah, there's the rest of it. And that's the rest. And your signal is gone. Now, people would say, oh, you shouldn't dig holes in parks. Well, these plugs fill them in really well. And on top of it, here in this desert park area, there is uh, an issue with gophers that are digging gigantic holes everywhere throughout this place. So you could dig a thousand metal detecting holes and never come close to what the uh, gophers are doing around here. These hills right here, these mountains, are all gopher holes. Look at the size of these things, and they just, yeah, it puts Caddyshack to shame. All right, well, that was a short video today, but I wanted to try the small coil in a park with a lot of trash, and uh, I like how it worked. I mean, the, uh, the separation was excellent on uh, just the small little area on some of the trash parts. I mean, we're talking really tight separation on these uh, on these uh, targets. So that's that's pretty cool. It's a nice nice unit. I mean, this is a relic hunter. I, I got this. It's not a gold finder. It's not a beach finder for me. It's uh, I wanted one for parks and relics, uh, ghost towns, things like that. I mean, I have multiple units from mine labs to whites to garrets and I wanted to try this because I heard a lot of good reviews. So far it seems admirable. This is the newer update. That should do it for us today. I do appreciate you coming by. Make sure you like and subscribe Ancient Seas Metal Detecting. I'm Sam Bouchard and I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Thanks again.